Hello students, my name is Priyanka and I am your digital mentor. Today I am here to start with the chapter number 4 that is weather and climate. Now so let's kick start. Tick the season that causes it. We normally describe weather as hot, cold, sunny, cloudy, rainy, windy etc. These words actually explain the condition of the atmosphere. Thus, weather is defined as the condition of atmosphere at a particular time and place. The main elements of weather are air temperature, air pressure, wind and humidity in air. The weather of a place is never fixed. It has been seen that we may experience different weather conditions in the morning and evening. Weather affects the clothes and occupations. Seasons are also caused due to changes in weather. The average weather conditions of a place over a long period of time is called climate. The climate of a place remains more or less the same year after year. Different types of climate are experienced in different parts of the world. The elements of climate are almost the same as that of weather. So see factors influencing climate. The climate of a place is largely depend upon the given factor. 1. Distance from the equator that is latitude. Second. Height above the sea level, that is altitude. Third, distance from the sea. Fourth, prevailing winds. Fifth, the amount of moisture in the air. Now see the factor number one, that is distance from the equator, latitude. The sun is the main source of heat and light of the earth. The rays of the sun do not reach the earth's surface at the same angle. Near the equator, the rays of the sun remain vertical almost throughout the year and they spread over a small area. In contrast, the rays of the sun are slanting near the poles and they spread over a large area. Therefore, the land near the equator is hotter than land near the poles in the same season. Now see the second one, second factor, height above sea level that is altitude. The hill station like Manali in Himachal Pradesh experience cool weather even during the summer season. There is snowfall in place of rainfall in the high mountains. The peaks of high mountains remain recovered with snow throughout the year. Thus, the places at high altitude experiences cool climate even during the summer season. Actually, the temperature of air decreases with increase in height above the sea level. Now, the third one is distance from the sea. That is, water takes more time to heat as well as to cool. Thus, during the daytime, water is cooler than land. The cool breeze comes from sea to land. This affects the climate of places in the coastal areas. Compare the climate of Delhi and Mumbai during the summer season. Delhi is far away from the sea coast and experiences very hot climate. Mumbai, located on the west coast of India, experiences a comparatively cool climate. Thus, the places near the sea coast have a mild climate than those which are far away from the sea coast. Now, the third one is prevailing winds. Winds can be hot, warm, cool, cold or full of moisture. They bring the weather of the place from where they are coming. The winds coming from the hot region increase the temperature of air while those coming from the cold region decrease the temperature of air. The winds coming 
from the sea normally bring cool and wet weather thus the climate of any place is influenced by the winds in that area now the fourth one is amount of moisture in the air the moisture of water vapor in the air is called humidity when the water vapor in the humid air cools rainfall occurs winds affect rainfall then those coming from the land the rain brings cool climate even during the summer season the regions which receives less rainfall are generally hot and dry thus the amount of moisture present in the air influences the climatic conditions so the heat zones now see what is heat zones the sun is the main source of heat for the earth depending upon the amount of heat received from the sun earth can be divided into three heat zones now see what are those heat zones so the first one is tropical zone the tropical zone is also known as the torrid zone it lies on both side of the equator and extends from the tropic of cancer in the north to the tropic of capricorn in the south this region receives the maximum amount of heat and moisture thus the climate is hot and humid throughout the year it extends from the tropic of capricorn to the antarctic circle these regions receive moderate amount of heat from the sun thus the climate in the zone is neither very hot nor very cold second the temperature zone the temperature zone lies in both the hemisphere in the northern hemisphere it extends from the tropic of cancer to the arctic circle in the southern hemisphere it extends from the tropic of capricorn to the antarctic circle these regions receive moderate amount of heat from the sun thus the climate in the zones is neither very hot nor very really cold now the second one that is the polar zone the polar zone is also known as the frigid zone it lies both the hemisphere in the northern hemisphere it extends from the arctic circle to the north pole in the southern hemisphere it extends from the antarctic circle to the south pole these regions receive very little amount of heat from the sun thus the zone remains very cold throughout the year the air temperature is mostly below 0 degree this is the coldest part of the earth to learn and understand the influence of weather and climate on our daily life we study the relationship in four regions these are hot and wet region hot and dry region very cold region and extreme climate region now children it's time to looking back weather is the condition of the atmosphere at a particular place and time climate is the average weather conditions of a place over a long period of time climate is largely dependent upon the temperature of air and amount of rain the temperature of the air decreases with increase in height above sea level the places near the sea coast experience a moderate climate and almost throughout the year and the last one is the three heat zones on the earth are tropical temperature and polar zones so now children it's time to take your leave